Well, luckily you're not a snake, Kanan. Oh, I tell you what, though, it's been a long ass day, so. And I have to get up at the ass crack of dawn to help Kim tomorrow. It's just like literally fuck my days off. I don't have them anymore, apparently. Hopefully next week's going to be a lot more quieter. Uh, typically, I have around eight jobs I have to do during the day. Uh, in the last three or four days, I've had anywhere between, between 10 to 15 jobs a day. And I wouldn't get home until like 10 o'clock at night. Because I, it's kind of hard to spray in the dark. So, but, you know, there it is. I wanted all that filthy, filthy money. Honestly, I'm so tired and sore right now. They can keep the fucking money. I would rather just stay home. <laughs> all right, piss off the venomous snake. Always a great plan. Honestly, man, snakes are more scared of you than you are of them. The only downside is, is that you're like a million times their, their size. That and they're a fuckload quicker than you are. So if you can hit them at a distance, outside of their strike zone, they usually fuck off. Why don't they hire more people if they have so many extra jobs? Because it's a company, Canon. I don't think Canon quite understands how corporate America works. Less people means less people to pay. Less people to pay means more money for the company. More money for the company, the company thinks is good. I don't live in a right to work state. We also don't live in a state that believes in unions, so. Ah, the good old ignorant South. So, it's part of the reason why I want to move back home to Oregon. Because that is a right to work state, and they do believe in unions, and they won't work you into an early grave. That I know of. <laughs> At least, not like here. Holy crap. Oh, Kem is spending it all soon. My last paycheck is almost gone. <laughs> of course, most of that went to bills. Get one to strike the end of the spray one. Then spray it in the mouth. See if that crap's toxic to reptiles. It is not toxic to reptiles. Uh, I had a list of what it killed. Uh, it's toxic to... Um, uh, basically any, any kind of bug. Um, I know it's highly toxic to fish. That's why we gotta be careful around, like, lakes and ponds and koi ponds and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, expensive carp, it'll kill outright. A.K.A. koi fish. So if you actually hit the koi pond and you come back, like, three weeks later and there are a bunch of belly-up carp, then... That would be why. Yeah, I got paid yesterday and the money's almost gone. What I forget, is this gerb paid by the hour or by the job? Uh, it's paid by the hour from first job to last job. Stringeth! Stringeth! Oh god! Stringeth! I was Battletech. I was the old Battletechs. Yeah, I get most of the hours. Otherwise, um, travel time, they only pay 20 bucks a day. <clears throat> Trust me, Cannon. Uh, the, the backside of my brain always tells me, you know, at least it's a job. But at the same time, I'm like, something sounds illegal about this. But I just work. I don't question it. At least it's, it's a job. That's all that matters right now. We need something sharp. My dick! Oh, wait. Battletech was and is amazing. This game so far really surprised me how much I've enjoyed it. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's only illegal if they're caught. That's true. All right, enough yammering. 
where are we going to move to somewhere civilized? Hopefully, um, once we have a, a house that's bought and paid for, like the one we're living in now. Holy shit, that's loud. Okay. No, I'm gonna leave it up. Fuck it. Default. Celsius? I'm an American. We do shit in Fahrenheit, bitch. I say that with a cold and starving child on my screen. Wow. I feel horrible now. Great. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Is the music too loud? Yeah, a little loud. That's good. Why aren't you letting poor Joker sleep in tomorrow? Because she hates me. Celsius, you heathen, get educated. Hey, Dollar, how's it going, man? Probably the next game I'm picking up. And now I'll watch Joker play and he'll do his usual evil thing and make me buy it. No! What's between this and Battletech? Try to get him to break years of habits. What? What are you talking about? All right. I think we're good now. Yeah, and, and don't let the stream dictate the graphics. Um, obviously, since I stream in a lower, a lower P, as it were. Um, this stream does not do the graphics justice on this game. That's for sure. You haven't even played Battletech yet? Oh. 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 The still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped. For pride and glory. My P always streams. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. <laughs> Until the frost stopped it all. I'm Somewhere waiting for the punk. Without a warning. Where's the punk? When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. I see the frost. Our last traces of humanity. Where's the punk? We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope. Zip on God's grace, fuck you. Slowly, step by step, knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. To snow cover the world, we decided to go north. Um, I hate to say this, I know. 
We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. Why? Why would you go to the coldest place on the planet? There's a reason why they call them the Poles. The Polars. The Polar Poles. Polar. God, it's even colder on planets like fucking Mars on the Poles. Not that that thing has a really, you know, static polar region. But still. Stay in the equatorial areas. It's probably warmer there and less snow. Oh my god, these people are dumb. So dumb. Oh, now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Mission failed. We'll get now next you time. fucked up. You have fucked up now. Could have went to Hawaii. Iceland with fucking volcanoes, man. Dingus. But... But... Well, I think the logic here was the poles froze first, thus they w must thaw first. What? Be like something in New York saying, man, winter sure suck here. Better move to Canada. <laughs> exactly! Hey, ducky. It's cold here. Let's go farther north. Am I the only one that thinks that's a stupid idea? Okay, let me read this. We fled from London and crossed the north, or the sea to reach frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because you went north? A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Probably because you went north? Why is no one here? Probably because it's in the north? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Probably not because it's in the north? Are there any others out there? Probably not because they're not as stupid as you to move north? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world has, uh, as we know it, has crumbled. Well, I sure as fuck wouldn't move north! Yeah, go against establishment. Freeze harder. Birth of a new keg. Don't go north. I don't even think north might be the key word here. At least Joker is getting into the role playing side of it. I feel like I need to put my professor hat on. God, no. Oh, look, we're in the north. Yeah, but the South Pole is just as cold. <laughs> Fight the cold. Okay. I'll move south. To an equatorial region on the planet. <clears throat> we need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Well, maybe you should go south. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. And exactly how do I do that? Ah! Move. Zoom. Rotate. Well, that's useful. Wreckage. Wood. Wood. Wreckage. Ah! Coal! Ah! There's more coal. Uh, okay. Workers, Max. Get to work, you cold hobos. It's apparently minus four. Oh, that's cool. People on normal work shifts go to work. Yeah. No shit. Eighty homeless. I should probably build houses, huh? Let's 
stockpiles. Get to work, you bastards. We're out of wood. Well, get some more. What do I gotta do everything? This is a video game? All that's happened when the people be on the new equator. <laughs> Workforce will extract coal. Good. Benedict Haddencock. <laughs> His name makes me giggle. <laughs> Are they done? Alright, they're going to go pick up wood. <laughs> I have little discontent and hope. Citizens need shelter. I right, just built you shelter! Oh, it only holds 10 and I have 50 homeless. Shit. Oh, I can't build anymore because I'm out of wood. Well then go give me some wood, bitch. Can we speed things up? I'm gonna kick it up a little bit. Another knock! Where's my resources? Oh, right here at the top. Work day ends. It's off time. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in the terrible cold. We better do something about it. I'll provide some shelter. As soon as I get some wood. The heating is off. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on. Yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, steam level one? There we go. Alright, we got some heat. We got 24 wood. Can I build more tents now, please? I require more wood! Get back to work, you bastards! Why not? Some flaccid excuse that doesn't hold up, I bet. I know, right? The woodless slumlord. Wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Okay. Can, can I have more wood? Not research yet, steam level two. Well, at least they're getting heat. Oh, we can put it in overdrive. No, overdrive is on temperature in all heat zones rests by one level, but the generator stress rises as well. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, bastards, get back to work. I need more wood. Oh my god, these people are so lazy! Now what? Resick. Health. People. Health. I need wood. Food. I need wood. 
resources. I need wood! Tech. Oh, look! I need more fucking wood! Fighting arena. This is cool. Radical treatment, sustained life, food additives, soup, cemetery, corpse disposal, child shelters, child labor. We're saved. I hate to break it to everybody, but I am a firm believer in child labor. Actually, when these things come up, we're gonna let chat work. Uh, we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let chat vote on them. Totally. Do you have any special army forces in this game that have to chase down moose and squirrel? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Resource management is crucial to the city's survival. You need coal to power the generator. Wood and steel are necessary for construction and research. Steam cores are a key part of advanced buildings. Raw food is used to prepare food rations in the cookhouse. Later in the game, more types of resources may appear. Most buildings require you to assign people to work there. Certain buildings only employ engineers, and others only employ workers. War never changed. Click on the workplace and use the assignment panel. Okay. Get to work, you lazy fox. Already have the maximum amount of people there. What do you want? Critical shortage. Number of sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather necessary materials. Open the book of laws. Urgency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand. Uh, at the cost of everything else, or die. We're seeing a new ability. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. I have to do it. They have to do it. Damn it. I do cocaine! Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will raise slightly. Fuck yeah. Sign that shit. Sign it! A new law has passed. I need wood. Slight increase? More like really increase. Alright boys, give me some wood. We gotta build more shelters and a medical outpost. Do it! Come on! Trudge your happy ass in the snow. Let's go! I don't care if it's your free time. It's work time. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. Health. Medical post. Tents. Still got 30 that are that are homeless. Oh. Should probably assign... Well, we gotta wait until it's built. Shelter promise f fulfilled. Hope rises! Not on my watch. Max. Alright, we still got 20 homeless. Alright. I should take care of that problem for now. Next, we're gonna have to look into food. <clears throat> Stop watching before he buys the game, too. Sorry. Child labor, nice. That's the secret to really small stitches on the finest clothing. Small hands. Smell like cabbage. You're already done working? <sighs> Seriously. 
Wood crate's depleted. Oh, shit. I can introduce a new lore. Alright, guys. Ooh, extended shift. Building a city that's frozen hell requires sacrifice. New shift length. You can extend the workday in any facility to 14 hours. <laughs> child shelters. Hope will rise. Providing all children with a place in a child shelter gives permanent hope bonus. You will have to build a child shelter. Or... Children can work in safe workplaces. Hope will fall slightly. Child workers can be injured in accidents. So? Fighting arena! Evening bouts will reduce discontent. You will have to build a fighting arena. What do you guys think? What should we do? There's food... Medical treatment... Corpse Disposal Cemetery, Child Labor, Child Shelters. What do, you, what do you guys think? I require input. Child Labor laws be damned. I like your way of thinking there, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the cut of your jib, as it were. feeling it. Food is important. But child labor is more important. Because then we can make them make food. Need a minute. Can't we make children into food? No. No, no, that, that, that's it. No, that's just, that's going against possible. Cannon has it. Build a jello wrestling arena and you can let the spectators eat the leftovers. You make the dead into food, just saying. Really? Food plus entertainment equals lower discontent. Fine. Sawdust meal. Nah, I'm not that mean. Jeez. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people. Same amount of raw food. Man, I don't know. Neither of these are good. Soup or, sta or sawdust? Soup is better than sawdust. Okay, okay. Soup. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. A new law is signed. Holy shit, that's a lot of coal. They're gonna have to go out farther. That's the only shitty part. Ooh. Food resources. Gathering outpost. Build a sawmill nearby. Can we build a sawmill? Um, tell you what, let's do that and that. There, that should help. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. we're fine, we're fine. Your free time is over, get back to work.
All right, we gotta do something about food. People are starving. Uh, whatever. All right. <clears throat> Turns raw food stops. Hunter is based here. Hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track the prey in frozen wasteland. Uh, we're kind of out of room here. Yeah, we desperate we desperately need some food here. Generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If dinner goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Scare way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. I'm working on it. Might be worth turning the generator off during the day. Eh, maybe. Basic resource secure for now. We can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon. Scout Frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Max. Standard meal. Make soup. Well, we're doing good on heat. We've got plenty of coal. We're fine. So, what is this thing? What is this roads you speak of? Like, out to the thing? Is that how we would do it? Let's, let's see if that actually worked. Hey, we got a road. He's still working on this coal. Build a mine here. Right. Oh, that's a, what else? That's what I wanted to build. Heck. Base heating level two. Not adjacent to street. Oh. Aha. I guess that's working. 
We have 68 people that are starving. been going without food for some time. Yeah, I'm working on it. Damn. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Ooh, that's some cold ass shit right there, son. Should I even bother making a road out to these reserves? Citizen has become gravely ill. Dangers of the cold. Frostbite. One of our people have become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if you work people, have to work people in such cold. We must do something. Sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We don't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. Gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated in medical posts. Or, radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. Gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Does the cookhouse need workers? I don't think it does. No. No, that's the hunter's hut. No, it's got workers. Why does it say inoperative? The building must be at least chilly inside to work. Ah. Um. Okay, plan B. I have an idea. Wait. We're gonna have to oust some people out of their homes. We may be running out of coal here, because uh, they stopped working in the coal mine. Ooh, steam hub. Heaters! 
Those who use heaters uh, to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises the workplace temperature by one level and consumes one coal per hour running. Allows us to build steam hubs. When powered by the generator, these cons contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Each active steam hub consumes three coal per hour. What do you guys think? Or it takes 50 wood to upgrade this. I watch a lot of YouTube. Tell them to move south. That is something. That is doing something. You can up the heat somehow. Oh, you can turn the, the heaters on in the building menu? Where? I think you have to research it first. Let's do heaters. For now. For now. Gotta feel like Zorg from Fifth Element. Starving and hungry. Sucking gravely. We're all gonna die, man! Because this generator's about to turn off. Phew. We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the hour. And just as we can enact a law that would allow us to extend working hours. Do it. Sign it. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Get some coal, quick. Quick. Family tore it apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group. But she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team. We'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Um... Oh, hey, this is pretty cool. So how do we send out a scouting party? I don't know! <laughs> Sorry lady, eat the sick people! <laughs> no, I'm actually curious, how do we send out a- uh, Oh, we have to build a beacon, which means, cause we already built a workshop. We must build a beacon. Ooh, there's more than just heating? Exploration? Ah, there's the beacon. Uh, we're already researching heaters, so... Fuck it. Get to work. Damn it. Sweet. Use heaters to heat workplaces during work hours. Oh, that's cool. First death. <laughs> For people that just died, sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a, a way to dispose the body. Gee, I wonder. Uh, let's see here. New building cemetery. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Corpse disposal. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. 
Well. So, can you just eat the dead? According to this, it would appear so. One of our people has died. One of our people has died. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want to do something. I'll feed everybody, but I need some more shit. Yes, I know people are dying. I'm sorry. Doing the best I can. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Coal thumper, faster gathering would be nice. Sawmill, steelworks. Food, hunter's gear. Get that. Stop dying! Good lord, why do you people have to die so much? Hear me, hear me! Hear me! No pit. I just put it right there. You guys don't mind, do you? Nah. Nah, they're fine. Use the bones for soup. I mean, bury it. Yeah, that's it. Shit, that's all done. Uh, we may need to research a sawmill very soon. Oh, I'm running out of people. My discontent is so high. Snow pit established. Body count. <laughs> oh, are we still researching this? Seven hours. Okay. Well, I, I think of it this way. The more people die, the less people we have to feed. Eh? Move. Time to get to work. Shit's researched. Resources. Faster gathering. Boom. Go. <laughs> Bing. Bing. It's off time. I have to start heating four of the cold homes within two days, then keep the heater for two days. I have to start heating nine cold homes within 24 hours. Keep them heated for two days. Yeah, fuck it! Do it! Let's turn it back on. There you go. You happy now? 
want to repeat my time. Well, stop dying, damn it. Body count six. So, so when can I start eating the dead, as it were? Why are they going out here? Oh, they're going out to hunt. Okay, good. Bring back shitloads of food, please. <laughs> Bing. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. This shit, I'm out. Just feed them muffins. I'll give them hope. Don't go with Joker's group. Number two, Prosper. <laughs> I agree. Purpose or direction, new leader is needed. Hey now! Work, work, nothing but work. What do you expect? coal mine is that what we need a coal thumper coal piles wood crates still regular work 50% faster Pumping in pressurized water and underground coal deposits, the coal thumper washes the precious resources to the surface, forming a pile of up to 560 coal per standard workday. Hmm. Resource depot. Gathering post. The hungry were fed. Hope rises. Well, that's good. Storage capacity. Don't give a shit about the storage capacity right now. Yeah, let's put it there. Organ transplants. Use the body parts of our deceased to save lives and accelerate healing. This way the dead can continue to contribute to the survival of our city. Done. Listen, everyone. All right, so we got faster side. gathering now. We need to take care of food. Oh, I need 50 wood. Shit. You know what? That sawmill sound really good right now. Uh, resources, sawmill, art. Somebody's cheering. I I don't know. <laughs> Obviously not me. Inoperative. I'm gonna have to take some people from somewhere else. Woman in despair. Woman is sitting in the snow pit, holding her dead husband's hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps we should have agreed to give people proper burials after all. I did what I had to do. Sorry, lady. Shit happens. Get over it. Just gonna have to deal. Uh, I need to pull a worker from somewhere. Wow. 
<laughs> Rum is broken. Wouldn't it be the first time? I am totally out of hope. It's hopeless. We're fucked. Final warning, people are desperate. <laughs> we have no rum. I suck at this game. I totally suck at this game. I thought you people wanted to stay warm, damn it. Searched. Nice. Oh, do I have to put an extra road? Okay. Alright, build the road or something. Thank you. Thumbnail. Building here will destroy resources. Yeah, I'd really like those resources. Put it there. All right. <laughs> because I don't have the fucking food. Uh, this game, it's just a giant. It's just, it's just nothing but frustration. Fucking get rid of it. It. Just dismantle all the stuff and let them freeze. Yeah, you're gonna have to go with child labor. Hope is too low. <laughs> oh, wait. Get stuff. Work time. Get 
back to work. Too late. Nope, nope, never mind. They're just launching the beacon. <laughs> I love the snowman. That's a beacon, I guess. Send scouts. Oh, I see. Scouts need to create. Waiting. One sent to lost expedition. Alright, well, we have scouts on the way. Generator is down. We needed a win. People cheer as a giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. It feels proud of the work they have done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to looking for our lost people in the front and the woman who came forward earlier is amongst them. Underway. Okay. Bring me more coal, you bastards. Gather your Boom. The shift is ending. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lloyd. I'll never see him again. You are banished. A band of grim men escorts you under the generator. The waiting crowd is silent. People observe you as you pass. Their faces blank as they, though they were watching snowfall. Fatality. You summarily judged and spared death sentence in recognition of your efforts. You are banished from the city <laughs> instead. It's okay, I don't want to live with you assholes anyway. Man! Well, that was a good start for getting a feel for things. Okay, so we need to research cold and shit. That, that is paramount. Cold food. Food is, is very, very, very paramount. Which we need wood for. <laughs> Fifteen prohibited children. Not on my watch. Put them to work. I don't even care. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. All right, everybody's employed right now. Good. Kids should be learning, not working. Fuck you. Put them little bastards to work, I say. Time to rest, 
folks. Works out today. I really don't want to use either of these. Sawdust it is. that there. Oh, street is currently under construction. Fine. Oh, I left it on overnight. No! We now have, don't we don't have enough workers, do we? Time to get to work. Okay. I mean we need more tents. Health medical post. And just put it next to the cookhouse. That'll work. Uh, we also need a workshop. Child labor, all jobs, done. Listen, everyone, new law is signed. Peters. Work the children!
Work the children! Children can cook. Shouldn't be a problem, should it? Work those little grunty fuckers. At least everybody has shelter. Beacon researched. Tight. Does it become gravely injured? Crap. Do I don't have any medic things, do I? Oh no, I did build one, didn't I? Mm, maybe not. Didn't I build a medic hut somewhere? I didn't, did I? I swear I did. Hunter's launch that. These are just tents. Tents. Just two tents. Just two tents. Uh. All right. Child injured at work. Give this kid a day off. You've done good, kid. Now people start dying. Seriously? <sighs> I can't win. A new law has passed. Just can't fucking win. I can't win. Let her daughter go to work. Fine. Fine. The oh, 
did I not build a beacon yet? Oh, shit. That's right. The woods. The wood! What are you people doing out here? Going to rest. Okay. Whatever. You go get that shit. Need more people. Go get that shit. I gotta build that beacon. Beacon built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These five citizens must be available. None of wood. Can we research anything else? What's that? Hot house, medical post upgrade, bunkhouse. Generator range upgrade one, generator power upgrade one. Oh, 50 wood. Ha! Ah, uh, let's do coal thumper. I don't have enough wood. Well, hopefully we'll have some here shortly. We just don't have enough wood for that yet. End of shift. Go rest on the <laughs> Like how these people just walk, run off into the snow. Like, sup. Now we can research it. Are we thawing slightly? Oh, thank God. Shut that crap off. Okay. Oh, we still don't have enough wood. Mother? Get going. Time to earn your bread. I require more wood, lackeys. Move. Working children will eat double rations. Hope will rise. Sure. I'm not a complete monster. <laughs> Only minus 22. It's a heat wave. It is. We are so out of food. until you die. Damn right! And get moving. Right, what, do you, what do you mean I don't have enough wood? frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. Must have been there for hours. Yeah. 
Well, now I feel like a shithead. By pumping pressurized water into underground coal deposits, the thumper washes the precious resource to the surface. Oh, shit. So, where do we put these? Just anywhere? Base heating level one. And we'll put it there. Wow, they built fast. Gather your tools. The shift is ending. All right, you can have some heat for a while. For now. All right, so we got the coal thumping. Let's get the sawmill up and running. Still not enough wood. God damn it. How much is still left here? 53? Yeah. All right, so we gotta send out an expedition like the next day. half as much. Hope will rise slightly. <laughs> Ceremonial funerals. Here lie Aquila Rondell, Hester Trench, and James Ash. <laughs> God. That's fucking awesome. I mean, no, that's horrible. It's still pretty funny, though. Move! Time to get to work! Oh, yeah. Now we're making shitloads of coal. Love it. And now we have a sawmill. We need a road! And we're still starving. Just none of people. Research tech. Food and health care. Can't upgrade yet. So, faster gathering it is. Uh, we need uh, more health stuff. 
That's my proper opinion of it. Medical post. Medical post. We have two medical posts. Oh, one's not stabbed. <sighs> Yeesh. How many people do we have available? Five. Ten children. Done. Work in the coal mine, kids. I'm crushed by a machine. Oh god, now I feel bad. There's been an accident. Child workers been trapped and badly injured inside a machine. We have to stop the entire facility if we want to have a chance. Keep working! <laughs> oh my god. It's just like, you run out of food so damn fast. have 40 words. There's just not enough people. There's just not enough people. Plus, I, we're getting cold and wood like mad, but we just need food. Oh, stop dying! Improvised shrine has been put up where the child worker was killed. People left a few memorial tokens on it. A tin horse, a sweet bun, a small glove. Someone scrawled child killer in big red letters on the machine in which the kid died. That's fine. I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and who wants to staff the medical place, huh? Who would like to work here? Oh, that's right. You're all fucking dead. But why would it matter? Somebody died at the s at the funeral. They, they held a ceremony at the cemetery, and somebody died in the cemetery. <sighs> I, I can't. I can't with this fucking game. person does something someone's going to have to come and get it. that's true there are no starving people that die children in your labor camps when it's battle tech that's true you make a very good point they, they have scenarios which you have to unlock that sucks come on anyway that's Frostpunk. Honestly, it's it's a good game. I give it that. It's hard as fuck though. It is absolutely a major raging bitch. Either that or I'm just naturally bad at it. I'm gonna go with that one. But anyway, that's Frostpunk. Um, I understand the Frost part. <clears throat> I unfortunately do not understand the Punk part. Unless it's because you have to make horrible decisions that hurt or kill people. And that, in, in essence, makes you a Punk. Yeah, well then why wouldn't they call it Frost Steampunk? There's various degrees of punk. I I don't know. It, I I guess it makes sense to a certain degree. You'll see that when you discover automatons. Dude, I can't even get past like the first two weeks. Dreams about sudden food, that child. I know! They re need to rename it. They, they need to rename it Frostpunk the Depression Simulator. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a, it's a, it's a fun game. If you can get it off, if you can get your, your little hovel town off the ground, it's, to me, it seems like you have to take a specific set of things and you have to do them in order to at least get off out of the starting point in order to be able to do it. Now, while that's fine and all, I honestly hate being led by the nose in a game where you have to do things in a certain order to start off with in order to be successful. I hate that. You should be able to pick kind of how you want to progress. Also, uh, the other thing that bothers me in this game is that there's no difficulty setting so like if you're some somebody 
that absolutely, in like out of countless games, like hundreds and hundreds of games, if you're willing to subject yourself to that, um, to try to get out of the starting time and actually make progress, and you're just constantly failing, um, a difficulty meter or a difficulty setting on this game would be exceptionally nice to have. Um, so that's, that's another gripe I may have. But otherwise, it's a pretty interesting game. The premise is, is very interesting. Uh, I hate the fact that I had to build so many shelters that I couldn't build anything on the inside. And I was burning through coal so fast because I researched heaters. Because I was trying to keep the other buildings. They don't really give you a scenario... To where... I mean, it, it kind of tells you, hey, you need to build this first, and then you should probably look into, you know... I mean, I built a cookhouse. I built a hunter's lodge. And uh, even with the hunter's lodge running at full steam, still kept running out of food. So, what do you do? You build, like, two or three more hunter lodges? Then... Your coal starts to suffer, your wood starts to suffer, you can't research anything. It's just... I don't know. It's a little confusing to me. Crisis management isn't just my thing. And that's kind of what it feels like. Frost depression. <laughs> is by the same developers of this war of mine, and that was such a joyful experience. No, I've, I've never played that game, so I wouldn't know. Would be nice to have a tutorial set up. It actually would. Um, but, like I said, uh, that's just my experience. You have, may have a completely different experience with it. Uh, but definitely, you know, if you got money to burn, definitely go check it out. Um, I will say this, though, that the lovely people at, uh, Paradox were kind enough to, uh, furnish us with a copy of Frostpunk. And, uh, so we could show it off to you. I would have loved to have showed it off earlier in the week, but work was so bloody hectic, I, I just couldn't get around to it until tonight. Um, that and Battletech came out the same day, and I was just like, eh. And the funny thing is, is that Frostpunk and Battletech are published by the exact same company. <laughs> they, they pop two games on the same day. But, uh, anyway, there you go. That's Frostpunk. Uh, I I would love to play more of it. I'm just... <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm just... It's like, how do we raise food? With our people dying constantly. Yeah. They're dropping like flies now. There's nothing I can do about it. This thing is fully staffed. Hunters have been away for 11 hours. Hunters will return with up to 20 raw food. Okay. So, that being the case, I still have people starving. I can't send scouts because we can't do a scouting party. We just don't have enough people. No oh, prizes. Even just a little. That place is just naturally warm. All right. A 
Okay, so they're making food. They're getting more coal. They're getting wood. I'm researching. All right. Allows us to turn up the generator range, setting and extend its heat zone. And all heat zones by one level. So, okay, so we have the hothouse. Few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up 30 raw food per day. See, that is useful. Let's do that. Maybe do two hunter logs and go from there. It's not a question of that. But here's our food rations. We've got food rations. We've got plenty of food rations. The question is, people are dying like crazy. And then we're out of food. So yeah, let's let's build another hunter lodge. It, it seems like that's what we're gonna have to do. But we're gonna have to wait until the next day because nobody's gonna build it. And we're already running out of coal again. And we have no people to work it. Time to get to work. So. Too cold. Turn the heating on. Turn the heater on. Turn the heater on. Turn the heater on. This is just inoperative because there's not enough people. Okay, so we got 15 there. We got five children working the cookhouse. <sighs> All right, so we got a little more. Oh, shit. Generator's running out of power. It's work time. Why aren't you picking up more shit? Go. Cannot resume production requires raw food. Well, I'm working on it. We're gonna have to leave the generator down for now, even though it's cold as fuck. End of shift. Go rest all. Wait a minute, stupid question for those of us that don't know. Is there hotkeys for the uh, speed? Reset game speed. I just, I hate having to hit that, those buttons over and over and over. Oh, I can do it with my thumbs. Okay, cool. Let's 
sweet. And we're about to run out of coal again. Storage limit reached. Alright, well then let's turn it off. And max that puppy out as hard as we can. <sighs> There's not enough bodies. See, now we have some rations. Finally. Uh, do we have people? Fuck no! Of course we don't. Uh, now we have enough people. Arrive in 11 hours. Sweet. This sucks. Well. Wood, steam cores, food rations. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna need your decision on how to deal with stuff. Search might provide survivors. Search area. Council set out towards their city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. Four children. Uh, oh, nice. Yes, I know the, sh the generator is shutting down. Don't remind me. I need more bodies. Bring me more bodies. Oh, thank God. No! Okay. I was like, fuck! Cave, observatory, sturdy shelter. Yeah, do it. Twenty one hours till they get there. Holy shit. All right, max that out. 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 I like how I have nothing but engineers working there. To work. <sighs> I 
I'm not going to worry about turning this back on full power. It would be pointless. Requires raw food. Turn it on for the evening. I can't win! Lucky bastard, he'll die quickly. What does it change? We're doomed anyway. Vanishing him won't save us, but it's a relief. I'm glad I'll never see- Fuck you people! Fuck this game! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, man. It was brutal. It's a very brutal game. It, it's, it's brutal brutal. But it's true. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, that was Frostpunk. I... I, I can't even. We're going to switch gears for a while for the rest of the evening. I'm pretty sure you guys know what we're switching over to. That was Banish Punk. Yeah. Those brutal games you can't win. You can only delay the fall. Well, no, I've seen other people play it and do a really good job at it, but... Not me. Not me.